running. In a three month period, I had five lady police officers in this house, all with cancer. I've had a series of calls from officers saying that their personalities have been changed. Uh, whenever I go to a country, uh, and I did, I think the year before, I did six countries, I think last year or the year before, the questions always come around to Tetra and they always come around to aggressive behaviour from the police since they started using Tetra. And I have the government documents that say this can cause neurological damage, this can cause cancer, this can cause uh, aggressive behaviour and personality changes. Uh, this was at the beginning of the experiment and the experiment with Tetra is not due to finish until 2018. So it's an experimental system. Um, the United States one uh, was, was quite interesting. <clears throat> it was to do with special forces uh, probably five or six years ago. They came back from a mission and of the six or eight gentlemen that were in the special forces, five of them, I believe, went home. I think it was five or six went home and severely <coughs> beat their wives or children or both, where some of the wives died, some ended up in hospital, but they were severely beaten. And it was believed that the communications apparatus they were using uh, was in training the brain and stimulating violence. And this was Fort Bragg. Now, I either had a phone call from Fort Bragg or I had a phone call from the embassy to ask if I knew what frequencies could cause this. Um, because I ended up talking to each. And I said, don't tell me, I will tell you what frequencies they have been using. Now, the special forces don't just hold them up. They're on permanently. So we're talking massive entrainment, far beyond what the ordinary person would suffer. But it induced such a level of entrainment and violence. <clears throat> so I wrote, I, I told them... Uh, what frequencies I believe they would be using. I sent them documentary evidence and the whole thing uh, was, was hushed over and it, it was on the news, but then they obviously, I would imagine, changed the frequency. It's been shown that a child using a cell phone, just an ordinary school child, if the child uses the phone for just two minutes, the brain waves can take up to two hours to return to normal. Two hours. And that's been published. Now, in those two hours, the child's brain is not acting as it should. And it could demonstrate itself in a number of ways. For instance, if, you, if the child were in school and made a quick call from the playground, it could be lack of concentration, hyperactivity, bad behaviour. It could be anything like that. And that would slowly ease off over two hours. Now, that's just from two minutes. Now, if a child makes a phone call every couple of hours... The brain is going to be entrained permanently. 
and it's already been published by the industry that a child uh, using microwaves just before bed will have his or her sleep totally disrupted.